Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video and in today's video I want to talk to you why I changed from Nikon to Sony. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. I have been shooting with Nikon since I began with photography, basically. I, I started out with a Nikon Coolpix. I moved on to a Nikon D5100, which I got from my parents, and then the Nikon D7100. Then I upgraded to the D500, and I have been shooting Nikon since 2010. This is the first year I'm actually like completely putting Nikon aside and jumping in. So the reason I ever first actually got a Sony camera was because I wanted to start filming. I wanted to start being more creative, I wanted to explore the different things. I've been doing like photography, still images for a long time and now I wanted to move over to moving image. I did film a little bit on my Nikon D7100 for a bit and um, while the camera was okay, uh, it was more me that was inexperienced. So having a camera with like no autofocus whatsoever in live view. So I bought the Sony a Sony A6000 two years ago, two years ago, which I used for filming. And I had that camera for like a year and then I upgraded to Sony A6300, which is the camera I'm filming with right at the moment. And then I upgraded to the Sony A7 III. So the main reason I actually started to change cameras was because I wanted to start filming. And after I started filming, I just got a taste of Sony because Sony is amazing. The first main reason, well then, was for video. Second reason is that I really, really enjoyed the bodies. The size comparisons is there. I mean, the Sony camera is definitely smaller than the Nikon camera and slightly lighter as well. The size difference was, was there and I just wanted a smaller camera basically. And this camera is really small. I have no trouble putting that in, in, in a backpack, but, but to me, because I got small, really tiny hands, so if I'm holding the Nikon camera, it's not, it's not very comfortable holding it. It's just the Sony A7 and the Sony A6000 and Sony A6300, they all fit in my hands comfortably. And that was something I just couldn't change back to Nikon for because it was just holding the cameras were different, it was more, much more comfortable. So the fourth reason is the electronic viewfinder. It's basically having this live view screen inside the viewfinder as well. You basically use what you see is what you get. So you can do underexpose and it will be dark in the, in the viewfinder, you can overexpose and it will be too bright in the viewfinder. Uh, so yeah, what you see is what you get. So whereas with uh, the Nikon camera, you obviously it's, a, it's not an electronic viewfinder. So what you see in there is not exactly what you get. This is also one of the reasons why I wanted to sh uh, change to Sony. This feature wasn't with the A6000, but it was with the A6300 and it has been improved on the A7 III. It's the silent shooting. And um, if you don't know what that is, it basically what it implies, no sound whatsoever. So using an electronic shutter, to take the pictures. Um, with the A6300 it was limited to only one picture at a time, uh, which wasn't a bad thing, uh, but with the A7 III it's, you can do bursts, you can do 10 frames per second, one shot per second, but so yeah, it's um, a good thing that's also been updating. Another thing is the eye focus. I haven't really been using that a lot, so I can't really say that's been a break uh, of a deal, but with the A6300 and the A7 III, I've been using the iFocus a little bit. I can't really say it was on the A6000 because it's not on the A6000, if I remember correctly. It's a little bit on the A6300, but it's like really improved on the A7 III. And I've tried it out a little bit on my girlfriend and it's spot on, stays on there. And it's a dream to use for portraits. This is why I decided to change. I've yet to use this camera in a studio. Uh, I do not know how the electronic viewfinder is going to behave. I do not know how the camera is going to behave in a studio. But I know it was a pleasure to use the D500 and it's going to be sad to see it go. Honestly, I'm looking forward to do mirrorless all out and especially Sony. So Nikon, I know you've got mirrorless, but 
at this time of stage, you are just too late to the game for me. I bet you have some excellent good mirrorless cameras, but Sony is just ahead of you in the game. And thank you so much for those years, Nikon. You've been amazing and you've taught me so much and you've been a great friend. But it's time for me to move on and it's time for me to go to Sony. So Sony, hello. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Tell me, have you changed systems from Sony to Nikon, or Nikon to Sony, or Nikon to Canon, or Canon to Nikon, or Fujifilm to Pentax, or Pentax to Olympus, or whatever. Have you done a change of the brands of the cameras? Tell me, how was it? Was it painful? Was it expensive? Because I can tell you this, I still haven't sold this, so this has been expensive, but by the time I've sold this and the lenses for the Nikon camera, I will have paid for this camera and the Tamron lens, which I'm using. Um, I'm going to do a review of this baby by the time after a couple of months, and then I will also do a review of the Tamron 28-75mm. Actually, I can get that now. This is Tamron 28-75mm. Put it on the camera. I'm looking forward for this. I am... Um, Really looking forward for this, actually. It's it's a huge change, but I know it's the right decision to do. Nikon, thank you so much.